Hello everyone, this is Simmer Rose with a house build video, my very first house build video to be exact, and I'm pretty excited about this because I've obviously never done this before, and I know that today on my upload schedule is create a sim video day, but I had no inspiration to create sims, and um, I build a house instead. <laughs> so that's, that's what we have. Um, and this is only the exterior. I have not yet decorated, um, furnished or decorated the interior because the exterior took me so freaking long. But um, it was worth it because I think it turns out really great and I'm sure the interior um, is going to be just as much work but I'm going to try my very darndest to do it justice. And yeah, so this is the Phantom Manor which is an attraction in, in Disneyland Paris, um, which is based on the original Haunted Mansion ride, which originated in Disneyland in Anaheim, California. And there, the second version of Haunted Mansion is in Orlando, Florida, in Disney Walt Disney World. And um, the ones in Disneyland, California and Disney World have pretty much the same story, but the one in Disneyland Paris is slightly different. And all of the houses, all of the architecture of all of the versions in Paris, uh, Tokyo, you know, Orlando, Anaheim, you name it, they're all different. And they're all unique in their own way because of where they're set, like where the story's set and all that. So I wanted to go with this one. And you'll see in just a second, I had to switch to a bigger lot because I was originally on a 40 by 40 lot and it wasn't, I realized it wasn't big enough for all of the, um, landscaping I wanted to do so I just saved the house and put it on a 60 by 60 lot so yeah anyway as I was saying um, all of the architecture is different because all of the stories are different and they t all take place in different spaces for example um, the original Haunted Mansion in Disneyland um, Anaheim takes place it's it's in um, oh god what's it called Port Orleans Port or no that's a hotel um, the, the New Orleans themed section of the park, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And so it had to fit the New Orleans, you know, Southern mansion style. And the one in um, Disney World, Walt Disney World is um, based in, it's in Liberty Square, the section of the park called Liberty Square. And so it's a, you know, theme matching that. And this mansion, Phantom Manor, in Disneyland Paris is in Frontierland, which is a bit odd for a haunted mansion, but they made it work with the story. And so the story with the Phantom Manor is that um, the Ravenswood family, um, crap, I don't exactly remember his name right now, but Melanie Ravenswood is the center of the story and her father bought this house because he struck it rich in Thunder Mesa, which is the name of the western town where this story takes place. And um, this house is supposedly built on cursed ground, which is why all of the terrible things happen that leads to the story. And, um, oh, you'll see that I put in the roof and I cut out all of the roofing just because it took me like hours. As I said, this was my this is my first house build ever, so like I didn't really know what I was doing. So that's why I like undo and redo things a million times, and that's why I cut out the roofing because it took me literally forever. And I don't think you guys want to sit there and watch me figure out how you know the roofing system works in The Sims 3 for five hours. So I just cut that out. Um, all the times that it fades to white and comes back is either me cutting stuff out, which, which was the roofing, or me saving the game. Because I just, I don't understand builders that only take, like, their, like, their, their speed builds are, like, 11 minutes long. This speed build is 30 minutes, and that's after me speeding it up, like, 800%. Like, this took me forever, like, days upon days. Like, this is not me sitting straight through and building. This is, this is me, like starting it and saving and then quitting the game and like going to sleep and then like going to rehearsal or going to work and then coming back and picking it up again like it, it's just it was a like a week-long process really like I started this I think I started this a week ago and I just now finished only the exterior and I'm sure the interior is gonna take just as long because I'm picky and a perfectionist and you know what I usually do is <laughs> 
I usually just download houses from the exchange or from Mod the Sims or from the Sims resource and then I furnish them myself. Just the inside, I don't worry about the exterior. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dogs barking. They're all alone downstairs because my dad's not home yet and they hate being alone because they're a breed that really needs a lot of attention. But anyway, um, but I decided that I really, really wanted to actually build a house because I really wanted to have the Phantom Manor in my game, but I just, I couldn't find a version that was compatible with my game because I don't have every expansion pack, I don't have every stuff pack, everything from the store, I can't afford that. <laughs> I don't know people, I, like, I don't understand, like, power to you, but I don't understand gamers that can afford to just buy every little thing for their game, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's so much money for, like, a game. And like, yeah, The Sims is pretty much my life, but I still don't have money to devote to just that. You know what I mean? I have a lot of other important things to pay for, but you know, no offense to anybody that can afford that stuff, like good for you, but I just can't. So, you know, um, so yeah, and I, I just really wanted this in my game and I realized that I had to do it myself because nobody was creating anything that I could put in my game. See, faded to white, I just saved again. I probably went to bed or something right after that and picked this up in the morning. <laughs> um, I, that is from Mod The Sims, that roof and these, these um, dormer windows or loft windows, whatever you want to call them. Those are from Mod The Sims. Um, they work pretty well because there's a lot of loft slash dormer windows in this build. Um, it was a really a pain in the ass to get it accurate, but you know. I think I was talking about the story of the house before I was started talking about something else, and I don't remember where I left off. But yeah, the house is built supposedly on ancient burial ground, and Melanie Ravenswood was supposed to get married, and her groom never showed up, and you find out um, in, you know, in the, the famous stretching portrait room where they always show somebody hanging just because they can. <laughs> um, the man who got hanged this time was Melanie's betrothed, her fiance, and that's why he never shows up. And it's tragic and, you know, all that jazz. And so she just, you know, haunts the house, I guess. And that's the story of this mansion. And I mean, there's more, there's a lot more. I can link you down. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna put a link to in the description to and like a detailed um, story for this because I read I read so many blogs and I watched so many like YouTube walkthroughs because let's be real I'm never getting to Paris to be able to go on this ride like I barely have enough money to make it to Florida let alone making it to Paris so I'm probably never getting on this ride so I watched as many YouTube walkthroughs as I could so that I could you know be prepared to make this build accurately and. I found a ton of information on the stories and I'll definitely put links to that down in the description so that you guys can, you know, get a sense of the mood of this piece, I guess. <laughs> if you can consider this a piece, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so here I go with the outside, the, um, what is that? The siding? Yep, the siding. I'm really good at words. Um, I don't know what to talk about anymore. Um, I've said enough about the build and the story, I guess. I said that I got those from all the Sims. Um, wow, I thought I was gonna have a lot more to talk about. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know Kiwi Simming. She's like my Simming idol, but her commentaries are always so dysfunctional, but like that's why I love her so much. And for some reason I thought I could get away with my commentaries being as dysfunctional as Kiwi Simming's, but like, I feel like it's not cute when I do it, and it's only cute when Kiwi Simming does it. <laughs> like, she, like, talks about whatever the heck she wants in her commentaries, and, like, I feel like I just can't get away with that, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm not cool enough. I feel like I'm not cool like Kiwi Simming, but, you know, nobody is as cool as Kiwi Simming, am I right? Um, yeah, so I really, I wanted to put the, um, Walt Disney World I wanted to build the Walt Disney World Haunted Mansion, but it was a lot. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot more difficult than this. And this, I honestly didn't anticipate it being so difficult. I I thought it was gonna be easier because the general shape of the house seemed simpler, but it's not. It's not. Um, oh, and right here, you know, big terrain change. Um, 
I found out a cheat for me to raise the elevation of the house to like put it on a hill because I realized that the house is supposed to be on a hill. Like every single description of the house ever is like the haunted house on a hill and I neglected to put it on a hill and I didn't think you could change the elevation after you actually built the house but I found a cheat that you could. I don't remember what it is but I can put it in the description if you guys care that much. But so yeah. Um, and I've also, in addition to never building a house before, I've also just generally never worked with the terrain tools. So like, if that's a mess, like, I'm so sorry, but it, it, it's a work in progress. Like working with, you know, unleveled ground is a severe pain in the butt, but I think it pays off because I think it looks really cool in the end and I'm super happy with it. Um, you're about to see me use the resizers to make those columns fit and then the one more the one more space package to put the lights on top. Those are both uh, those are not on mod the Sims. I don't remember where they are. For some reason every time I edited the terrain, um, the one more space package like reset itself. so I had to like fix that several times, but I think I just, cut out all that. Yeah, so you see the, the terrain sculpting takes me a while because I've never done it before and honestly, like, it looks weird. Like, if you don't sculpt the terrain properly, it ends up looking really bad. And for a while, it did look really bad for me. But once I got the hang of it, you know, after like a week of doing this build, once I got the hang of it, it was okay. Um, put in some stairs. I had a difficulty with the stairs here. They were not going the direction I wanted under no circumstance. So that was a pain but I ended up making it work eventually. Any day now it's gonna work, I promise. There we go. Yay, that's what I wanted. Um, I think the terrain softening tool is what really, is what really did it for me. <laughs> it's what really fixed it. Um, yeah, that's another save. Um, yeah, my dogs aren't happy. I'm sorry if you can hear them. They're really loud and obnoxious, but I love them. I love them a lot. Um, so yeah, there were a lot of challenges with this build because the thing with the Haunted Mansion rides is that they're not as big as you think they are. Like, the mansions themselves are pretty much decoration. Once you, the stretching room with, you know, the, the room that stretches with the portraits where the guy hangs that I was just talking about, it's... It's actually, I mean, I'll, you probably figured this out by yourself already, it's not that difficult to figure out, but it's actually an elevator, and it takes you underground. Like, that whole ride is pretty much underground. So, the house itself, yeah, I tried to put shutters here, and it just wasn't working. Shutters from Mod The Sims weren't working. Um, oh, I'm starting to get into the graveyard, which I'm super excited about, because I'm really happy with how it turned out. Anyway, um, so the exterior of those of those houses, that's all they are. It's just decoration. So they make them smaller to save space and then they, you know, can use all the room they want underground. But, you know, for The Sims, I'm trying to make it look like a real house, like a real build. So I had a lot of trouble, you know, seeing, like I had to, you saw in the beginning, I changed the size of the house a million times because I was making it like to scale. And then I realized, hey, wait a minute, I'm not going to be able to fit a freaking thing in in this house. I'm going to it's going to be like a two room house. So I had to adjust. So that's why it's not perfectly to scale. I hope that's, you know, acceptable. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's acceptable. This is my first house build. But yeah, so it was a struggle, but it ended up working. Here I am putting some some tombstones and all that jazz. Um because yeah, when you when you exit the ride, you exit it through a wine cellar and then it empties into, you can either exit the ride into the rest of the park or you can go into, they call it Boot Hill, which is um, a graveyard. And I don't know exactly the story. I mean, all of the Haunted Mansion rides, like all of the versions of it, they have a graveyard after you leave and there's like funny sayings on all of the graves and it's like, you know, silly causes of death and it's just a good laugh. But, um... I came up with the head cannon, if you will. I use that word way too many, way too often in all of my videos and my LPs and stuff. <laughs> but I came up with this idea, this head cannon, that the graveyard was not visible um, until 
Oh, I forgot to mention this into this very important part of the story. So you remember how I said the Ravenswood father, Melanie's father, built this house on, you know, cursed ground? Um, this is why it's cursed, because there's a cemetery there, and he disrespected it by building a house on the cemetery. And the cemetery was hidden from view. You see how it's like in, like it's like kind of a little bit underground, you have to go downstairs to get to it? Um, those are some coffins from Mama Sims, by the way, using the one more space package to get the lid on there. Um, so it's like kind of underground because it was buried. The cemetery was buried until um, Melanie's father was killed because that's what happened. The phantom, the phantom, um, which is the ghost that haunts this manor, the ghost that killed Melanie's husband on her on their wedding day. Um, that's why it's called Phantom Manor. It's the Phantom, which you see you see him periodically throughout the ride. I would know. I've watched a bunch of you know point of view ride throughs because I'm a nerd. But um, my idea is that he is like the guardian of this graveyard and when it was you know disrespected with a house being built on it he was angry at Melanie's father so he he murdered her father in a ghostly fashion probably hanged him and he unearthed the buried cemetery so this was not visible to the human eye until he got his revenge um, and then you know Melanie was alone for a little bit after her father was killed and she found this cemetery and was very intrigued and didn't know what to do about it. And then, of course, her husband was killed and all that jazz. So that's the story with that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I hope that makes sense. I'm, I'm resizing right here. I'm resizing some like, like mini statuettes they're supposed to put on like desks, and I'm using them. Um, as like accessories on graves because I think it's cool. Like I like those dragons and I got a snake and there's like the thinking man and I just randomly put a giant thinking man statue. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got that idea. Um, but yeah, that's the graveyard. That's me saving. Oh, and now I'm just recoloring all the windows because they kind of have like a reddish purple tint to them. None of them are actually white. Um, yeah, I'm running out of things to talk about again. I talked about the graveyard, the curse. The curse is that this is burial grounds. I went over that. Um, here I am with the terrain paints, you know, putting a path through the graveyard, recoloring the gate. Um, oh, here I am with the plants, lots of plants. Now I really wanted this to look overgrown because I feel like abandoned abandoned oh my god a abandoned um haunted lots like this would have very overgrown gardens and everything and there is a garden that it's it's part of the the queue the line before you actually go inside the house um and i tried to mimic it as best i could and you'll see it in a few in a few minutes after i'm done with the graveyard landscaping um use a lot of desert debris object and the haunted brambles and the brambles and all that jazz. Lots of plants because old overgrown things. Put in some rocks and all that jazz. Um, I threw in some wild roses here and there. I don't know if that's exactly like in character of the build, but you know. Also, I love the willow tree. I think the willow tree is like my favorite part of the Sims game. <laughs> It's such a pretty tree, and like I've always really loved willow trees, like I just think they're really pretty, and there's a song about a willow tree that I won't get into, I sang it with my choir, but it's like, I don't know, it's just really pretty, and it's really haunting, like I feel like willow trees really fit, I think there's actually a willow tree like in the garden of the actual like Phantom Manor attraction in Disneyland Paris, I could be wrong, but I feel like I've seen that in pictures, and you know, just wanted to include that. I ended up actually realizing that I used way too many plants. Like, I didn't realize how many plants that I actually used. So, nope, another save. <laughs> so, later on, while I was taking screenshots and I'm hitting the tab key to, you know, take the picture, I'm realizing, wow, I can't even get a freaking picture because I used way too many plants. So, I ended up deleting a lot of the brambles and stuff and some of the bushes, like, as I was doing screenshots. So, you didn't, it's, it's not on camera, but you don't need to see it. You, you get the idea. It's just a really overgrown lot. 
that's all you need to know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Um, how much longer is this video? Oh my god, it's so much longer. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's getting close to the end, but I haven't even touched the garden yet. So, yeah, my voice is also really hoarse because... I don't know why my voice is really hoarse. <laughs> I've never had to talk this long. All of my creative sim commentary is like under 10 minutes usually. I think my longest commentary was my Princess Leia creative sim video because I feel too strongly about Princess Leia and Star Wars in general. <laughs> and I spent too long on her video. But other than that, um, this is really long. Like my Princess Leia's creative sim video was like 12 minutes long. This is 30 minutes long. And I mean, that's including the screenshots and I'm not gonna be talking during the screenshots. I have some some spooky music, some, you know, spooky music for <laughs> the screenshots. So I won't be talking during the screenshots. Lucky you. Um, I hope my commentary isn't too annoying. I'm not used to doing this. Again, this is my first house build, so I hope I'm not irritating you guys too much. I hope you guys enjoy this build because I, it was, it was stressful because I've never done anything this big before, but I really, I did enjoy myself with this build. Like, I really, I enjoyed capturing the hauntedness of it. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, you know, putting in a big oak tree. Actually, I think that's the small oak tree. Oh, look at all those bushes right there. Yep. All them bushes and rocks to cover up my terrible, my terrible terrain sculpting job. Um, ooh, here comes the garden. I think the garden is like my favorite part of this build, honestly. So far, I mean, I haven't done the inside yet, but I think the garden is my favorite part. Um, there's like a cute little red gazebo in the garden that I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, this is when the terrain sculpting actually starts to look normal because I finally I found a, a level that like was normal for like gradually getting that high. That doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense to me and I, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this, but yeah, I think the hilliness works better now that I fixed it. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please do tell me if you hate it because I would love to know if you hated it. I tried to put the gazebo on foundation, but for the life of me, I could not figure out how the diagonal foundation thing worked. So I just gave up on that dream. That was, that dream died. <laughs> but yeah, here I am making the gazebo. I love gazebos. Gazebos are so aesthetically pleasing. I have a gazebo in my backyard, but it's really old and gross as is like the rest of my house. <laughs> um, but this gazebo, I thought it was very interesting because this gazebo still had like a table and chairs and like a tea set in it. Like when I saw pictures, I, um, it like, and a lot of like the, the bloggers that like did reviews of this ride, like made sure to note that yes, there's still a tea set in the gazebo. It's eerie. Yay. So I definitely added that. Yep. See, there I go. Table and chairs. Um, and I have tablecloth decor, which I love. And there's the tea set. And again, I forgot to uh, change it from flowery pink to just plain white. I forgot to do that until I did the screenshot. So in the screenshots, it's the right color, even though it's not the right color right now. Um, some more, oh, another willow tree. Because actually, this is where I think I saw the willow tree in the pictures. I think there's a willow tree behind the actual gazebo in the actual Phantom Manor um, attraction. Um, I don't know what I just did. Just I think I'm trying to find a way to put the gazebo on foundation and it wasn't working again so I gave up again um there's also like a tree you know how like there's like trees in like circles um I wanted I feel like this garden was like gorgeous at one point I wanted to do roses there but I feel like it looks creepier if the bushes look dead as they do there um I feel like this garden was once very beautiful, like when before, you know, Melanie's father was killed, before her fiance was killed, before her wedding was ruined. I feel like the garden was once taken care of very, very diligently. And it was one of the most beautiful parts of this manor. And Melanie um, was very proud of it. I feel like she would have, you know, had her tea with her fiance in that gazebo very often. And she would have strolled the gardens a lot. And I don't know, I just, I feel like it was just, it used to be very nice. and. Um, it's just a shame what it's become because of the terrible history that it's had. Let me tell you, putting all those rocks down was a pain, but it's worth it because it looks super duper nice. 
Um, and I, I'm now, yeah, there's the fountain. And again, I used the resizer to make it smaller because I didn't want a huge ass fountain. I think that size is much more manageable, don't you? Um, more rocks. And yeah, I also put one of those there, but I realized that I didn't need to. Like, I didn't realize the fountain, like, was going to start running water when I hit play. Like, I didn't realize, so that's why I put that running water there. I'm just dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, more plants. All of the plants. Very overgrown. I, I definitely tried to emphasize the overgrown thing, like, in the garden, because, um... I wanted it to, I just, I wanted it to look like kind of depressing. Like it used to be beautiful. That's why I have the dead tree like right in the center. Like it's symbolic. It's, it's a metaphor, guys, it's a metaphor. <laughs> the dead tree is a metaphor for the death of the death family. And okay, um, the joke isn't funny anymore, Rosie. Stop, <laughs> just give up. Um, so yeah, a lot of brambles. And I actually, I don't remember if I did it on camera or not, but I, this is like where I deleted a lot of the brambles. Yeah, like look at how thick the brambles are in that shot, like yikes. So I got rid of a lot of those, but um, it's okay. I, and I really, I really like how the garden turned out. It's pretty, it's pretty creepy. Like it's, it's creepy. There, see, I'm deleting some of the brambles and the desert debris and, and shit like that. It's, it's, it's sad because it did used to be very beautiful. And you know, you know, Melanie didn't do anything to deserve, to deserve this. Melanie was just, she was just, you know, moving west with her family. And she didn't ask for her house to be built on, a, you know, cursed grounds. That was her father's fault. She didn't ask for any of this. She just wanted to get married and live her life. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's really sad. And, you know. Well, I am almost out of time for my blabbing because we are almost about to jump into the screenshot. So before we get to that, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know how you enjoyed this because I had a lot of fun making this and I really can't wait to get to the exterior. Exterior, the, oh God, the interior. I can't wait to get to the interior. This is the exterior. The interior part of, you know, the furnishing and the decorating, that should be up by next Wednesday, which is a week from the day this is uploaded. Um, so yeah, definitely give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, talk to me about Haunted Mansion, talk to me about Disney, talk to me about house builds. I'm so sorry if this sucks. Please tell me if it sucks. I'll be better next time. I promise. <laughs> Please do give me criticism. I want to be better for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Simmer Rose. Enjoy the screenshots. They're really cool, I think. Have a great day, you guys.